today we will solve the problem 5.8 of Griffith fourth edition introduction to electrodynamics this problem related to pios our law the problem 5.8 consists of three part uh, first one is part a is find the magnetic field at the center of the square loop which carries a steady current i let r be the distance from the center to side as shown in uh, figure 5.22 this is figure 5.22 a yeah, circular loop carries the current i and uh, the center uh, center to uh, the side uh, distances r now we have to find the magnetic field at this point now uh, before that we will see the Uh, magnetic field due to a uh, wire uh, uh, the magnetic field at the point p that is uh, 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 point p is at the distance s from the center so this makes an angle theta 1 and uh, this is uh, theta 2 uh, now in this case uh, the according to pios our law the magnetic field is equal to mu not i over 4 pi s sin theta 2 minus sin theta 1 now you apply the same thing for square loop this consists of four four wires actually uh, we will take one side first we will i will take this side it makes an angle from the uh, center to the vertices uh, theta 1 this is uh, theta 1 and i will use a different color from here to here that is from the center to uh, the vertices uh, here it is theta 2 it is theta 2 uh, then uh, here uh, there are some um, important thing i like to say that uh, Uh, theta 1 is equal to minus theta 2 here for a square loop this theta 1 naturally theta 1 theta 2 is equal to pi by 4 for a square here you can see theta 2 minus theta 1 so since theta 1 this is negative sign uh, theta 1 is with respect to theta 2 to negative sign so this will become uh, theta 2 plus uh, theta 1 which is equal to uh, two times uh, the sin theta so that is two times the sin pi by 4 two times the sin pi by 4 so uh, where sin pi by 4 is equal to the uh, sin pi by 4 is equal to uh, 1 over square root 2 uh, that is equal to 1 over square root 2 is 1 over square root 2 so uh, now i am uh, changing some of the variable here i have mentioned this distance as yes here it is r capital r so s is replaced by capital r this terms inside the bracket sin theta 1 minus sin theta 2 from this formula it is equal to two times of course two times 1 over square root 2 so this is replaced by uh, 2 divided by uh, square root 2 which is equal to uh, square root 2 simply that is if you cancel uh, these two uh, that is uh, this 2 and square root 2 you will get square root 2 simply so i have written that square root 2 uh, mu not i divided by 4 pi r uh, now this is for one side so i have uh, given this p is for one side there are four such a side so you have to multiply it. in order to find out the total magnetic field you multiply with uh, 4 Uh, so this 4 4 will get cancelled so finally we will get the total magnetic field which is equal to square root of 2 mu not i divided by pi r 
And next we will move on to the section P. Part 2 is find the field at the center of a regular n-sided polygon carrying a steady current I. Again, let R be the distance from the center to any side. Polygon means it may, it may have any number of sides. I have taken uh, seven-sided polygon. It may be more than seven sides. We will find the generalized uh, solution. So the distance from cent uh, center to uh, the any uh, side, it is equal to R. Now from uh, Piosavot law, it is equal to P, uh, P is equal to B naught I uh, divided by uh, 4 by S, in this case S is R, uh, multiplied by sin theta 2 minus sin theta 1. In the case of uh, square, we have seen there are four sides, so that uh, angle uh, created by thumb is uh, N by by 4, in that case. Here there are seven uh, sides, so this is pi by 7 in this case. But general case, if there are n side, that is equal to pi divided by n. This is the general case, pi divided by n. So now you replace s by r. I have replaced s by r. This is as is usual. Uh, just in section A, we have seen this is equal to uh, both theta 1 theta 2 are equal and uh, uh, with the negative sign so this is this can be written as uh, sin uh, 2 sin pi uh, but uh, we have seen earlier case uh, for uh, square it is 4 side so pi by 4 angle is pi by 4 if it is n side this angle is pi by n that is very important so i have re and also i have cancelled this 4 with this 2. So this will become 2. So now we got P1. P1 represents one side, one of the side, magnetic field at one side, which is equal to uh, mu naught i 2 pi r sine uh, pi divided by n. Uh, now uh, you know very well uh, we have uh, so this general formula is uh, we know very well per n side number of side is n so the, the total magnetic field is n times mu naught i over 2 pi r sine um, pi by n so i have multiplied this by n now we will move on to uh, third section that is section c now uh, section C is check your uh, formula reduces to uh, the field at the center of a circular loop in a limit n is uh, tends to infinite. So this is the general formula for uh, polygon with the n side. So P of n is equal to n uh, times mu naught i divided by 2 pi r sine uh, pi by n. So this is our uh, formula. Now, if uh, number of side is infinite, you imagine uh, you have number of uh, infinite side, then it will form naturally the circle. Uh, so they are asking uh, the field for circular loop, center of the circular loop. By making this approximation, n equal to infinite in the uh, in the generalized formula for uh, magnetic field in the uh, uh, n-sided polygon. So here when n is infinite, imagine uh, sine theta will become small. So if uh, uh, sine theta is small, then sine theta is approximately equal to theta. If uh, theta is small, uh, so use that fact, uh, then this will reduce us to n mu naught i over 2 pi r. This will become 
based on this formula uh, fact uh, this will be replaced by pi by n here you can uh, eliminate uh, something n you can cancel out n and you can cancel out this pi this pi so in the numerator you have mu naught i mu naught times i in the denominator you have 2 r this is exactly what we got the magnetic field at the center of this circle using pi o savot law so the our answer for the uh, polygon is uh, verified actually so thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously thank you very much